never in a trillion years did I ever think that this would be the battle I'm facing. I worried that we wouldn't be able to raise enough money to move the research quickly enough. I worried that the science wouldn't work. I never worried that it would be safe and effective and we would be fighting our government to get access to it. I think this is the largest gathering of the Duchenne muscular dystrophy community in the history of the world. I think that we're coming in not only with over a thousand people, patients, families, loved ones, caregivers, physicians, researchers from all over the world, but we're coming in with a very strong case. We have 10 out of 12 boys who have defied natural history. They are still walking after four years on drug. It became clear to the people closest to this, the parents of the kids in the trial, that this drug was working years ago. There has not been one adverse side effect. Even after 25 years, it, there still is an unmet medical need. The FDA has the tools to approve it. So what we're asking them to do is quite simply honor what Congress gave them direction to do. We have clear data that even a single dystrophin positive fiber protects adjacent fibers. We never see 0.9% in patient biopsy samples. And so this is really an appreciable amount. It's very important to emphasize that our studies in animal models also showed that much lower levels of dystrophin have a clear measurable impact on muscle function. In essence, I'm convinced that Ateplersin improves the course of Duchenne by multiple measures, and I strongly urge its approval. These kids make dystrophin, it's safe, and I believe there's no reason not to approve. There often is little consideration of another error, which is failing to approve a drug that actually works. Today we saw data that a Teplerson treated boys walk longer, walk farther, have more dystrophin on blotting, and on fluorescence. Moreover, this drug is safe. It seems prudent to recommend accelerated approval based on the data. In the recent FDA briefing, it was stated that the Pusena positive fibers is not a reliable way to quantify dystrophin. Not only do I disagree with you, I ask you to review those biopsies carefully and note that the fibers with dystrophin are larger and more frequent than any biopsy I've ever seen with revertin fibers. I believe these dystrophin fibers are driving the clinical effect. As a physician, I want the option to prescribe the Teplersin. We cannot withhold a safe drug from even one boy who may benefit.